Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Technology Adda. Uh, my name is Mohammed Fazluddin. Today I am going to talk about REST API design rules. Okay, and as part of this session, I am going to cover what are the standards we need to follow as part of developing of uh, REST APIs. Nowadays, uh, most of the applications has a backend services as a REST APIs. So there are the vast uh, development is happening the REST APIs, but there are some standards normally developers will miss while developing the REST APIs. So as part of this session, I am going to cover those, which mostly will help the developers to uh, design the REST APIs and uh, what are the standards we need to they need to follow while developing the REST APIs. Okay, let's move to the next slide. So as part of this session, I am going to cover uh, uh, REST API endpoint URIs and uh, uh, what are the how the request uh, methods we need to create and uh, uh, endpoint uh, naming how the uh, naming create, naming we need to take it up as part of the URI and uh, filtering and sorting and the pagination handling and uh, versioning of the APIs and uh, last but not the least uh, error handling okay let's move to the next line so as as when we are talking about the uh, endpoint uh, URI like uh, it is more important like how we are going to use this URI with the methods. So most of the developers are aware like what are the methods available in the REST endpoints. Okay, like uh, get, post, put, delete. So we are aware like get is to fetch the information, post to create the information, and put to update the information, and delete to delete the information. So in deleting the updating and the information I am talking is in the database wise. Okay. So I have given some sample uh, uh, table here, so you can uh, check the table. Here I am using the slash course URI and uh, slash course with a specific ID also like 711. So if you are using slash course like it will mention that you are fetching the multiple data and updating multiple data, inserting multiple data, deleting multiple data. When you providing slash uh, ID right slash call slash ID like seven double one I am providing means you are uh, taking the action on the particular ID like if you use the get method on uh, slash cross call slash uh, seven double one it will fetch all the information if you use with the delete it will delete specific information okay and uh, coming to the verbs we should not use uh, uh, verbs like uh, with the URI it's like uh, slash get all cars and uh, slash create new car slash delete all red cars so like this we should not use let's move to the next line use use post delete and methods instead of get method to alter the state okay we, sh we should use only put post and delete methods we should not use get methods okay as per the http specification get and head methods should be used to Face the information and those methods are safe to use to get the information. Let's move to the next line. And uh, do not mix mix up the singular and plural nouns. So nouns well giving the naming of the uh, endpoint. So we should be very careful while giving that. Okay, we should not mix up uh, singular and plural nouns. So for example, like uh, slash uh, cars. Okay, instead of slash car. Okay slash users instead of slash user so some examples I have given in the slide which can be referred and use the forward slash always for the indicate the hierarchical relationship okay use a, a hyphen to improve the reliability okay and do not use underscore which is not preferred okay don't use that okay use lower, lower case letters in the URI okay don't use the uppercase do not use file extensions okay it is strictly prohibited as per the standards okay we should not use the file extensions never use crud crud functions function names in the urs like uh, create delete okay update and read those things should not be used in the naming of the uri okay we should remember all these points where giving the naming of the uri okay and coming to the filtering and uh, sorting part so we should uh, uh, filtering and sorting is the two major things which we are using in the rest api is to face the specific information okay 
and uh, filtering uh, will improve the performance like uh, if if you want to get the data specific to the uh, page right if you want like uh, if you want to filter by name okay specific name i am giving and if i want to filter or specific color for example i have given in this slide is uh, get slash cars version mark color equal to red written the list of red cars and uh, sorting means like how you want to sort we will have a different columns of data normally in the page so if you want to sort the day uh, the data like uh, by uh, like for example manufacturer and the model okay manufacturer should be in um, ascending order and model should be in the descending order so vice versa so we can pass with the URI and get the information get slash cause sort uh, given sort equal to manufacturer comma plus model okay it will sort depends upon this uh, column names okay so normally in the mobile clients uh, uh, displays just a few attributes in the list. They don't need all the attributes in the resource. Sometimes, like uh, we will we'll see the mobile de details in the web page. So they want specific, like ASUS. They want model, okay. So specific model, okay. And manufacturer also a ma ASUS, okay. So different uh, uh, models and different different uh, manufacturers also we can see. But the Dell and Dell Latitude is the model, okay. So different uh, manufacturer difference. So we can fetch the information through the URI. So we can pass with the URI the filtering and the sorting part and fetch the details. So we need to follow the standards to pass that. Okay, get slash cars question mark fields equal to manufacturer model ID and color. So which are the specific fields also we can uh, uh, pass and we can fetch the information. Okay, let's move to the next line. So talking about the pagination so for the rules to maintain the pagination is a use limit of offset use limit and offset okay to get the information the default should be limit 20 like normally when we want to see the list of details in the page like web page so normally we will have a huge data in the database so so that that moment if you want to limit the data and we need to face the details so we can use with the, this limitation with the REST API URI itself, okay. Like for example, get slash cars, okay. Question mark offset equal to ten and limit equal to five. So if you give that, it will get the five records, okay, from the request. And uh, and one more feature is the X total count. So to send the total entries back to the user, we can use the HTTP header as X total count. So it will return complete. Uh, records available in the database through which we will know like what, what is the next set of records we need to fetch from the database so pagination is the major feature we will use uh, to fetch the details through the URS so to maintain that we need to pass that offset and uh, limit uh, with that URI okay let's move to the next line and uh, rules for the pagination will let's continue on that and uh, it is important to follow the link uh, link header values instead of constructing your own urls okay and uh, uh, link is like and uh, we can use uh, this is like and uh, we can use the links in the um, uh, page web pages normally so how we are going to perform that so some examples i have given in the slide like uh, I am passing offset 15 with the URL and uh, limit is 5. Uh, relevant, uh, relevant, uh, real, relevance equal to next, okay. And relevance equal to last and uh, relevance equal to first and relevance equal to previous. So I am passing those values also with the link. Okay. This is about the pagination. Let's move to the next page. And uh, rules for versioning. Versioning is the major uh, concept uh, normally we we'll use in the Mm, rest APIs okay so we'll have a multiple versions we'll create uh, in the rest APIs okay so whenever we'll update we'll have a new version of uh, rest API that is this is a good practice to maintain while developing the rest APIs okay so without version we should not release the rest APIs so use simple ordinary number to avoid the uh, to avoid any issues in the versioning okay we should not use the dot notation with the versioning like uh, one one dot two one dot three we should not use it is not accessible okay we should use one two three like that. 
with the versions okay for example if you see in the slide I have given slash block slash AP slash version 1 okay so like that we can use and uh, we should use a V letter with the uh, numeric number like V1 okay V2 V3 it is hard to work with AP that ignores the error handling so next concept is the error handling so we should uh, uh, a proper error handling we should do with the REST APIs so error handling is the major role which will place like uh, to debug the issue sometimes uh, uh, some um, uh, APIs will not give the response so so we don't know what happened so if you are not doing the proper handling we can't find that one okay let's move to the next slide so where we can see the error handling part okay okay so here uh, I can explain like uh, different uh, status codes we have for the different errors okay so status codes with uh, success also we have error code like 200 so always uh, most of the successful APIs uh, will return 200 and 204 for the um, uh, successful deleting of the records and 304 not modified uh, error so like that these are the uh, majorly uh, seen errors by the developers like 400 uh, sequence and uh, there is a 500 sequence also is there okay status code 500 is the internal server error okay api developers should avoid this error okay mostly we should not see this error in the apis but let's we will we can debug that error by uh, logging the proper uh, payloads okay so we should have the uh, response uh, all exceptions should have mapped to the error payload okay so the response if you are giving proper information then can, we can debug easily so for example I have given in the slide like uh, how the JSON payload should uh, look like okay errors is the uh, the field which we are using in the payload and uh, user message and internal message and uh, code for the different uh, errors we can have a different error codes okay and more info so more info like if there is uh, any description which will help the developer to understand like what exactly the error and uh, if you want to display any uh, user message in the front end that is a user message okay internal message is like uh, to understand the developer okay so mostly so how the exception uh, handling should be there like uh, so both of us like for the uh, uh, for the end user how he is going to see the error and what exactly the issue happened so those information also we can pass it to the payload and uh, how the developer will find the issue so that information also we can pass to the uh, STP so that through that what happened uh, uh, the system can be maintained easily and uh, a user also will feel like okay yeah some error happened so what is the next action so that also we can pass it in the message okay that's why we should uh, smartly we can do the error handling in the rest APS okay and uh, if you are not able to handle properly the uh, uh, errors in the rest AP so it will create it will waste lot of time of uh, uh, developers to debug the issue another thing is uh, usability perspective also end user feel like uh, um, he don't know like what happened okay so he feel like okay this system whatever we develop is uh, useless okay because it is not giving any response so always we should have a specific message in the payload which can be displayed to the end user and he should understand and he can go for the next uh, action or he can wait till the issue is resolved okay so so we covered most of the points uh, which has to be maintained uh, as part of uh, REST API uh, standards. Okay, I hope you guys uh, uh, understood properly the concepts which explain and uh, which, which, will, which will be helpful to you guys to develop the REST APIs. Okay, please like, share and uh, subscribe to my channel for uh, more videos. Okay, and uh, thank you so much.